if only this were a level 3 rabbit instead of just a level 2, we could be completing something that I've wanted to complete for quite some time, but today we're actually going for a bow hunt, and maybe we can do what I'm talking about anyway. I thought it would be fun to hunt out here on Rancho with a bow regardless, and I've been saying for a while that I think it has the terrain that would be potentially a lot of fun, and today it's time we officially find that out. By the way, double long on a rabbit is not a bad deal, but there's that one little platform in the trophy lodge that is in a hallway of basically trophies that have all been taken with the Hawk Edge bow, with the exception of one random duck, and I really would love to get a diamond antelope jackrabbit with the bow, just to kind of complete that, but Regardless, we're gonna hunt around and pretty much find whatever we can. If we can get a diamond jackrabbit, that's great, but just in general, I want to bow hunt this map and kind of see how it is. The odds that this goes well are probably not all that good, but there's a whitetail buck out here at about 100 meters, which is a pretty good size, and the issue with potentially trying to call him in is there's a ton of deer, and it might just end up with a bunch obstructing our shots, so we're gonna try with the rangefinder sight and decent wind, about a hundred meter bow shot here. Now that says 103 and it should be correct. I think he just dropped. I'm not certain. You know what? I was gonna run and look, but let's see if we can do that again. Let him kind of calm down. The issue this time is just gonna be hitting the right deer. It's this one here that we have like in the center of the um, binoculars that I want to go for. I think I can still see it. It should be that deer 103 meters again, roughly like that, and that one dropped. Now I've used the rangefinder sight around 100 meters before, and sometimes it seems to be good, sometimes it feels a little inconsistent, like maybe you have to aim a little higher or lower than you'd expect. We really could shoot all three, but I don't think we'll be too greedy, although the bows a while back were changed to where they do half the hunting pressure of guns, so even shooting three bucks there wouldn't cause that much pressure. Still though, I want to see what we did and maybe move on to areas where we have the chance to kill some other higher scoring stuff. I mean, for a hundred meters, right kind of dead center in the shoulder like that? Pretty much perfect on a 235 scoring buck as well. 104.3 meters right kind of above the heart there, and I felt like the shot on the other was about the same. We'll find out pretty quickly because he's not too far away. I'm kind of surprised, unless he fell in the water? What happened was, we claimed the second one first, actually. That makes a little more sense, but this one, then, is a 240. Pretty much same placement above the heart a little bit higher that time, but 104.05 meters, and I guess I probably shouldn't be surprised. The wind was great and everything, but two nice bucks, 200 meter shots with the bow, I don't know that we could do that on, let's say, a jackrabbit, especially like a potential level 3 one, but nice to know that we can take those longer shots should we need them. Well, to pretty much go from one extreme to the other, we're 18 meters away from what is actually a pretty good sized mule deer buck. I think it's somewhere like in the 260s or 270s that usually scores. He went back to calm. We really don't even need the rangefinder capability. We can just 0 for 20. And hopefully that's going to be into a lung. It definitely looks to be. Hopefully he's not going to run us over. And I wanted to kind of stop here and we'll try to see like what else kind of runs off. But going all the way to the northeastmost lake, I just think for one it's a really far run. And it's not the most ideal location for bow hunting. And this guy was a 272, but I was hoping to get a decent one here and not have to go all the way up to there to get like a good buck. There might be a good one up there, but... Trying to take it with a bow would be tough, and we kind of lucked out and got a pretty nice one just here at this lake. Well, unfortunately, as they are prone to do, a bobcat has kind of messed up our stock of a decent-sized level 4 javelina. Trying to figure out that's it right there. They're not that far away, but that's just so much of a lead to put on, like, a tiny animal like that. We can try something like... No way. Did we get the right one? One dropped. I honestly have no idea. I know it was a common. Let's see if we can spot a four while we're just kind of going through there. There were so many that passed through that little kind of area. If we even, I don't care if it's like, you know, spinal cord or whatever. If we even hit the one that we were trying to hit, that would be amazing. I don't even know the last time I took a shot like that. To try, I mean, that looks like a common to me. 
We got double long, just about hard shot the thing at 80 meters on the trot. You know, I, I can't even claim that there was much there other than luck, just kind of guessing how far ahead of the javelina we should place that, but that's now 200, two 100 meter shots and an 80 meter on the trot, kind of small animal, uh, good shot there. Maybe we should bow hunt more often. Just because we are still missing a diamond jackrabbit, I've kind of been waiting in passing time to go and hunt them in their feed time, and I just can't pass out the chance to try to shoot this guy. Now, the thing is, we can't zero for beyond 150 meters, so what we're gonna have to do is roughly find somewhere this 150, get the rangefinder to give us that wherever we can do it, and then we can kind of aim a little high based on that. Not sure where we can get 150 exactly. Oh, we had it there for a second. Okay, that's 148. Now, if we put that down, it still stays. The issue is kind of lining this up, but somewhere in there, we definitely just hit him. I know I'm going to have to zoom that in and editing because I can't even see what we just did, but hopefully you guys could. Um, that's... Oh. I was going to say for a second that we didn't hit him very good, but that wasn't the right buck. I don't even know what's going on today. It's such like a... I don't know. I, I think... Often when we're going for like longer shots or anything like that, because we just did it in classic yesterday with like a 324 meter Ibex heart shot. When you overthink some of those things, it's easy to mess it up, but when you just kind of go with whatever's intuitive and launch arrows or bullets where it just feels like you should aim, apparently that can work because I don't even, we couldn't even hardly see. I just knew roughly where the deer was and I think we made a long shot. I mean, the blood would indicate such things. 53 score, actually double lung and liver at 165 meters, but kind of interesting. He's an uneven spike, basically. It kind of happens often in real life, so it's cool to see like one side forked and one not. Definitely not minimum, because it would be like a 0.00 or 0 0.50 or something like that on the weight. Still tiny, and fast in a little time to get to rabbit feed time, but uh, Kind of new, uh, fart the shot with the bow, I think. I was hoping one of these two gobblers would be at least like a 9 to 11 estimate to have a chance of being a big one, but at the very least, as we're still kind of just going a little more time before the later rabbit feed time start, we might as well go for a shot like this. We've had a lot of longer shots already. The one thing is, they're moving around a lot, and again, we're kind of dealing with that 150 meter limit, so we'll have to kind of go a little bit less than what it is. If they're walking around, I don't know, but something he just stopped. Somewhere around there. Just over top. Now the thing is, if you do miss, they at least kind of spook. I don't know. He just did a thing that I've seen turkeys do. We shot over him again. But they kind of like will crouch down. Yeah, he is going to run off. So unfortunately, that one didn't work out. This one at 130 doesn't know that we shot those. So you know what? I wonder if the wind is pushing our arrows further. Let's go a little low. I wasn't even paying attention to that. Yeah, that dropped him, or at least hit him. I thought he dropped, but he got back up. It's going to take him down, but that might have been our issue. I've not bow hunted really enough to know if, like, a wind that's, like, pushing the arrow forward would make it hit high. It might be the case, at least at long range like that. I guess I must have equipped the wrong arrows. Because I thought I had the 300 grain tracers, but those were just like the normal ones. Which kind of explains why we couldn't see them like in flight or anything. Shot it pretty much where we wanted, so that may be the case. Because we definitely aimed like down in here. And of course, we had the range finding sight, so it would have been roughly where it should have uh, been aimed. I knew I heard something there. I think it might have been, yeah, that same gobbler. So we'll leave him alone. We'll maybe go and see if we can find anything for rabbits now. I thought at first when I spotted this 4kg rabbit that we were kind of out of luck because you need a at least 5 to 6 estimate to have a chance because it is 6.3 to make diamond but then I realized there is a level 2 here with a 5 to 6 estimate and he's right at 60 meters so the wind is good. I want to try it. I don't know if we'll manage to actually hit him but about like that. Oh we're so close. That is going to spook them, but it spooked them our way, and rabbits do stop, so that might have helped us. That's him right there at 30 now. It's here for 20. We might have just done ourselves a favor. 
Ooh. Okay, I've noticed rabbits do this. So, they can spook so fast that they'll sort of outrun a 22 round or an arrow. And now, we're dealing with like a 60 meter shot, and he's sort of moving. This has become kind of interesting. They're hopping back down there. Maybe we can get a, I guess, second redemption shot in there. It's still well within range. We almost need to, let's kind of say, alert him like that. Now, will he sit still long enough to let the arrow get there? This has been a strange hunt. We've had an easier time with more absurd shots than some of the kind of routine ones, but 5.7 gray. Now, I really like the gray fur type, so... Always when we have a level 2 with a chance, I like to take them down just in case. But just a 5.7 well away from the diamond requirement. I think on that note, we are pretty much going to wrap up this hunt. And we may not have gotten anything special, and I was hoping that maybe by being forced to hunt a little more slowly just to be successful with a bow, we might be more likely to glance around more and potentially spot a, you know, diamond rabbit. But no such thing like that. But really some really cool shots that I'm proud of and quite honestly I think we should bring the bow out more often for hunts like that in the future so we'll have to see what we can do for those kind of hunts down the road but anyway that's gonna do it for this video so thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time